obviously that ain't right that should not be happening okay so this is something you really don't want to happen while you are testing or setting up a 3d printer so right now i'm doing a review testing the creality sonic pad it's a uh, Raspberry Pi replacement for a machine run clipper. It's got a nice touch screen built into it. It's already got clipper installed on it. It is meant for Creality printers. However, you can use it with other printers. So I'm testing that right now. Uh, we have my Kingroon KP3S or KPS3. Um, I've used this with clipper before. We've had clipper installed on this. It has clipper installed. So all I've done is connected it to the uh, Sonic pad here and I'm going about setting everything up. And um, as you can see, it is uh, extruding. This heater is on. Um, it's smoking. That is not good. So I'm gonna unplug this, turn that off. Um, Clipper has a feature where this shouldn't happen. Um, I'm gonna do some testing here because obviously that ain't right. That should not be happening. So anytime you're having a problem, uh, first things first, make the problem not a problem anymore. So machine catching fire, I've gone ahead, unplugged it. Um, we're going to let that cool off. And then let's attack this from a few different angles and see what is the issue here. Is it the printer? Is it the sonic pad? Or is it something we haven't thought of yet? So let's, let's attack this from a few different ways. So the first thing we're going to do is with Clipper, if you don't have your MCU attached, when you power the printer on, nothing should happen. So we've got nothing plugged in. Let's go ahead, turn the printer on, and wait and see if uh, the heater heats up again. It's been a couple minutes now, and no smoke. So the issue does not lie with this printer itself. So now what we're going to do, I have a Raspberry Pi here. Uh, it's got an SD card in it with a clipper install that I pulled off another computer. So it's a known, good, functioning clipper install. We're going to go ahead, plug this into here and see if this emulates the problem. Now this again does not have a printer.cfg for this printer. So it'll be the same kind of setup as the Sonic Pad. So let's go ahead and test that out. Okay, so another good sign. We've got the Raspberry Pi here. Again, this has Clipper installed on it, um, main cell, I believe. And no smoke, no heat, filaments cold. Uh, so we're good. So it's not Raspberry Pi, it's not the printer. Let's go ahead and plug the Sonic Pad into another printer that has Clipper installed and see if we have the same issue again. Okay, so this right here is my Micron printer. It's got a Big Tree Tech Octopus board. Uh, the KP3S has an MKS Robin, I believe. So we're going to emulate the setup. We got this machine. It's connected to the Creality Sonic Pad by a USB. Turn that on. Turn the printer on. So with the Micron here, um, got it powered up, connected to the Creality pad. Um, nothing, no heat, nozzle's cold. We're good there. So also we can check, we can flip the printer over. You can see the light for the heater isn't on. Most uh, controller boards have a light that illuminates when the heaters are active. So this seems to be good here. Let me go get another printer to check. Okay, this is my FL Sun V400. It actually comes with a similar setup like this, which is a touch screen running clipper and um, yeah, as soon as I turn the printer on, I get an error here, abnormal heating, please turn off the printer, power immediately, check configuration file. So, uh, is this, is that hot? Oh yeah, that is starting to uh, heat up, it looks like. Yeah, you can see filaments starting to come out, yep. And this thing also, if you don't have the uh, printer config set up, it powers up, so that is not good. I don't like that. And just for more data, plugged it into my Voron here. This is running an Vizek Spider controller board. And again, no heat, nothing. So, it might have to do with the controller board in the KP3S. Let's do a little research. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what it's starting to look like. So the King Rune uh, and the FL Sun both use uh, the MKS Robin, apparently, as a controller board. So it looks like... Currently, for whatever reason, if you pair a Creality Sonic Pad with an MKS Robin controller board and you do not have a config set up, you will have a thermal runaway right on power up. So that's not good. What I really don't like is, yes, we got a warning with the V400 that it was, something was wrong, but with the King Room KP3, there was no warning.
So, hey, one more update. We think we found the problem here. So I share the video, at least the video of portion that you've seen up till now with the Only Benchies Yacht Club section on the Discord, which if you're a YouTube member or Patreon supporter, you get exclusive access to that super secret channel, get videos early and whatnot. So anyways, I want to give a huge shout out to Puller Ted. He brought up a really good point, and I think this is the issue. So on an Ender 3 board, pin PC3 is an end stop pin, and it's pulled high, so it's active. On a MKS Robin board, PC3 is the heater, okay? So what's happening is the Sonic Pad um, most likely has a default configuration for an Ender 3 set up and pre-installed on it. And also since most new Ender 3 boards and the MKS Robin use the same STM32F chip, Odds are the serial address for the USB is most likely the same. So what is happening is this is auto connecting to the printer because the USB address just happens to be the same and it's turning that pin on which turns the heater on right off the bat. However, there's absolutely nothing in the manual saying that it is set up like this and nothing warning you that, hey, potentially, if you happen to be running a controller board that has the same chip and the same pin identification names, um, your heater might just turn on or it could be a fan, who knows? Um, so yeah, that, that's a, um, I get why Corality did that. They're trying to make it a little bit easier, but that's a goof. That shouldn't happen. You shouldn't boot up into a config, um, for a printer that might not be connected for this. It shouldn't be set up to automatically do that. Um, as you're going through the setup, it should ask you, hey, are, do you have this printer installed? If yes, then load the config, install the config, whatever. Don't just automatically assume it's going to be plugging in because, all it takes is somebody to follow this manual to the word and after plugging in their printer and turning it on, deciding they want to go, you know, oh, I got to run to the store for a minute. And now they're having a thermal runaway issue. So, so yeah, Creality, um, not a huge fan of that. Um, that's not really a smart, safe thing to do. Um, I'm still going to look into this a little bit more, continue on the testing with it. Uh, but that we haven't even got it printing yet and it's already leaving a bad taste in my mouth just for a safety standpoint. So if you like this video, I'm going to try and do more off the cuff random videos like this going forward. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. If you want to help support the channel, content I create, things I do, check out the description as well. Make sure you like that smash button on the way out. Enjoy your weekend. Cheers.